all my truth seekers welcome to Kishi's Gossip and Truths. In this video I will be talking about the potential cancellation of the real talk show that I stopped watching since Tamar. What happened? Please note that this is alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. Dance. <laughs> Dance. Dance. Yeah, you can see that look in my eye. Ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Wrote a whole new book while I cry. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either end the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. A new report from Wendy Williams and Nick Cannon losing their daytime talk shows. Insiders say the real is next on the chopping block. After eight long seasons, the reel is set to cancel. The Jasmine Brand report to the news hasn't been officially announced by anyone with the show, but it's said to possibly be due to low ratings. The all-female talk show has been in full syndication since 2014 after a successful trial run on Fox in the summer of 2013. Co-hosted by actress Adrian Houghton, comedian Lonnie Love, fashion stylist Jenny Mai, and TV star Garcelle Buivis. The show has seen a number of changes over the years. Previously, co-host includes Tamara Mori, singer reality star Tamar Braxton, and comedian actress Amanda Seals with Mori on the panel. The Real won a daytime Emmy for Outstanding Entertainment talk show host in 2018. Previous co-hosts include Tamara Mori, singer, reality star Tamar Braxton, comedian actress Amanda Seals with Mori on the panel. Among the most notable moments on the real include the 2015 sit-down with Rachel Doze, may I mispronounce her last name, about her identifying as black and in 2016 visit to the White House to interview the First Lady Michelle Obama. Word of the show's possible cancellation comes amid reports of Nick Cannon's daytime talk show getting axed after one season. Yeah, Cannon's show ranks as the lowest rated single host daytime syndicated talk show this season according to Deadline. Mort Marcus and Ira Bernstein, co-president of Detmar Mercury, said in a statement, and I quote, It's never easy to cancel a production with a clear potential, but after a great deal of deliberation and examining various options, we have made the difficult business decision to end production of Nick Cannon. We plan to offer viewers original episodes of the daytime talk show through the remainder of the season. Our thanks go to the very talented Nick Cannon and our wonderful production team. And we wish Nick continued success with his many hit ventures. Deadline also noted the thought the reel is facing cancellation, but producer, distributor Warner Brothers is denying the reports. Meaning the ladies may save it. And we know how, don't we? Bring Tamar back. Because without her, I mean, it's safe. They're safe, but yet great star quality and lots of fans you gotta admit loves Tamar and tell it like it is Tamar okay I mean without her the show sucks let's be realistic here I'm not sure many of you remember but I did a video about the real admit Tamara leaving because of the money among other reasons and of course the salary's being cut here's a snippet of what I said I am so with this they're constantly stealing from blacks and spike race well as most of you know Tamara Mori has been on the show, on the real show, since the show started in 2013. And then she announced that she's leaving to focus on her family and other career opportunities. But some fans don't believe her, especially after rumors surrounding a pay cut were reported. This was also one of the reasons the rumored of Adrian and her hubby selling their house, but claiming other reasons. They needed to downsize. However, Tamara decided to you know do what she normally do and what she said was what she's very good at i mean i may add she's a very good actress so she decided to focus on acting and things of that nature this is what she said to subside the rumors of her leaving the show pertaining to a pay cut because it was a rumor there was a pay cut but she had to subside those rumors Here's what she said. I'm so proud of what all the ladies and I have accomplished there, including two well-deserved NAAC 
Image Awards and a Daytime Emmy she wrote in part. However, all good things must come to an end. And it's with bittersweet smile that I announce that I am moving on from the real to my fellow hosts. I love you, I will miss you, and I will always be there for you. But let's go back to the real reason she left. You see, Tamara announcement comes days after celebrating her 42nd birthday. She captured a series of photos of herself, you know, letting the fans know that she was excited for new beginnings, hinting that new adventures were on the horizon. Also remember that Tamara is an actress, but get this, according to the report executive from the show, who choose to remain anonymous, mm -hmm, Tamara said goodbye after being offered a 75%, get this, pay cut, the source told the media outlet. Tamara was making about $3 million a season, compared to Adrian, who made about 500 k Jeannie, who made the same, and Lonnie, who made $1 million. Well, they said. So yes, Tamara was making more than all the other hosts combined. And it was always causing friction among the cast. Because it was also like that Tamar was making about the same as Tamara when she was on the show. Which is another reason why Lonnie, Jeannie, and Adrian was also hating on Tamara. Yeah, uh-huh. Especially Lonnie. Now, so when Tamara was reportedly offered one million to return for the seventh season she was offered one million which has already been renewed she is said to have declined the, the proposed salary and gave executives her walking papers and hoping they would have come close to the amount but i'm sure tamara would be fine with the family wine business and her acting that she neglected for many years you know to have kids and the show and things of that nature but the other co-hosts are hurting, especially Adrian, because she had to take a pay cut as well. Since this epidemic, their ratings dropped substantially. I hear their ratings hasn't changed. If I mean, if things don't improve, this may be their last season. Yeah, it goes deeper. The ratings haven't been the same since Tamar. And anyone who comes to the topping that ends up leaving or contract canceled. Not sure why, but very strange. There's also the backlash of many fans who are sick of some of the co-hosts on the show, such as Lonnie Love, who they say may be a troublemaker and secret backstabber, and asking the network to get rid of, you know, guests or co-hosts or whatever. I used to think that as well, but with careful research, you know, I I no longer think that. I think Lonnie is misunderstood and she tries hard to make everyone happy. And Tamar getting fired was on her ex-husband sabotaging her career, no offense, and herself, no offense. Then there's weird and big mystery Jimmy Maya, who to me is fake as hell, and I'm saying in the, in this I'm saying this in the most concerning way. She seems to pretend to be whoever, depending on who she's around. But I think underneath it all, she's torn and unhappy and has no idea who she was or who she is. Then there's Adrian Balan, who is only about her money and doesn't care how she gets it. If it means losing a friend, oh well, I'll holler at you later. If it also means marrying, ne never mind. I think you all get the picture. Then there's last but not least, Tamir, who came onto the show the way she left it, professional. And all caught up in her husband, Adam, later their kids. She was taught to play it safe and not to reveal too much. I knew after her last child and the way her marriage was looking to be like one of those 40s with twist feminism and modern lifestyle, she was on her way out. She just needed a reason because Tamara's all about her husband and her kids. Not saying that's a bad thing, but she had dreams before Adam. That's it. I've seen lately that she's trying to, you know, come out of her shell, but it comes across as awkward and not sexy. I hope she gets her sexy back and never give up on herself for any man. Show yourself and your kids that you can do it all. If your husband always belittles you or makes you feel bad about being that way, then there are other options. Like I said before, this show was doomed after Tamar, even though she was a pain in the ass, I must admit, but that was then and this is now. They need to get someone like her and lose the troublemakers, the one who seems very fake, just saying. Here are my top options. Tamar Braxton, bring her back, just saying, Nene Leakes, although Lonnie may not like the comic competition, but she'll get over it. 
You know what? Cancel it because they're all fake as hell anyway. It's not the real. It's the fake. Just saying. <laughs> well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And hit that bell to get notification when I do post more videos. Love you all. See you later. Bye.